Hello everyone. Welcome to I Exam B. Students, my name is Anshul Malik and I am your reasoning mentor. Students, as you all know कि SEBI Grade A 2022 का जो Phase One का examination है, वो 20th Feb को है. और अगर हम उसमें Paper One की बात करें, तो Reasoning Chapter के अंदर एक बहुत important topic है Analytical Reasoning. तो आज के सेशन में हम कुछ क्वेश्चंस एनालिटिकल रीजनिंग के डिस्कस करेंगे तो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं तो सबसे पहले स्टेटमेंट एंड कंक्लूजन को लेमेंट टर्म में समझने की कोशिश करते हैं कि कंक्लूजन का मतलब क्या होता है कंक्लूजन का मतलब होता है आउटकम और इसको हम इन्फ्रेंस भी बोलते हैं तो आप कंफ्यूज मत हो जाना इन्फ्रेंस और कंक्लूजन को लेकर क्योंकि ये दोनों एक ही चीज हैं ठीक है तो कोई भी किसी भी चीज के बारे में आपको इनफॉरमेशन दे रखी हो आप उसे समझने की कोशिश कीजिए आप उस पे ओपिनियन बनाने की कोशिश कीजिए उस ओपिनियन बनाने की प्रोसेस को कंक्लूजन कहते हैं आप जब भी ओपिनियन बनाते हैं स्टूडेंट्स तो वो राइट right भी हो सकता है या फिर रॉन्ग भी हो सकता है ठीक है यानी वो लॉजिकल भी हो सकता है आपका ओपिनियन और इलॉजिकल भी हो सकता है अगर आपका ओपिनियन जो आपने बनाया है वो बिल्कुल राइट right है तो उसको हम डेफिनेट कंक्लूजन बोलते हैं अगर आपका जो ओपिनियन बनाया है वो रॉन्ग है तो हम उसे इनडेफिनेट कंक्लूजन बोलते हैं बेसिकली स्टेटमेंट एंड कंक्लूजन में आपको एक स्टेटमेंट दे रखी होती है उसके बेसिस पे आपको दो तीन कंक्लूजन दे रखे होते हैं तो आप ओपिनियन बनाने की कोशिश कीजिए आप देखिए जो हमने आउटकम निकाला है वो राइट right है लॉजिकली करेक्ट है या गलत है तो उसी को हम डिफरेंशिएट करेंगे दो पार्ट्स में दैट इज डेफिनेट कंक्लूजन और इनडेफिनेट कंक्लूजन जो कंक्लूजन फॉलो करेंगे वो डेफिनेट की कैटेगरी में आएंगे जो कंक्लूजन फॉलो नहीं करेंगे वो इनडेफिनेट की कैटेगरी में आने वाले हैं तो आपको सिर्फ दो काम करने हैं सबसे पहले आप डायरेक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन को चेक करो ठीक है यू हैव टू चेक दी डायरेक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन जो आपको दे रखी है और दूसरी चीज आप ओपिनियन बनाने की कोशिश करो और दिए हुए कंक्लूजन से उसको मैच करो आप अपने आंसर तक ऑटोमेटिकली पहुंच जाओगे तो बस आप ये काम कीजिए और किसी भी चीज के बारे में अगर आपको कुछ भी इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं दे रखी है नॉर्मली कंक्लूजन में जो चीज़ें प्रेजेंट होती है वो स्टेटमेंट में नहीं हो सकती तो आप कुछ भी कंक्लूड नहीं कर सकते तो आप ओपिनियन बनाने की कोशिश मत कीजिएगा जब आपको स्टेटमेंट में कुछ नहीं दे रखा हो तो ये जो फंडे हैं वो आप अपने दिमाग में रखें आई थिंक नाउ यू आर रेडी टू सॉल्व दी क्वेश्चन ऑफ स्टेटमेंट एंड कॉन्क्लूजन लेट एस सॉल्व नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट इज गिवन टू यू स्टेटमेंट इज इन द क्यू एंड ए पोर्शन मिस मिट्टी नेरा फील्डेड अ टफ एंड टाइमली क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग इमिग्रेशन अबाउट वेदर और नॉट कंट्रीज हैव एन ऑब्लिकेशन टू एक्सेप्ट द रिफ्यूजीज योर कंक्लूजन आर मिस मिटी नेरा आंसर द क्वेश्चन आस एंड योर सेकेंड कंक्लूजन इज इमिग्रेशन इज नॉट अ मेजर problem worldwide since it is clearly mentioned in your statement that she fielded a tough and timely question means she answered it so your conclusion first will clearly follows however your conclusion second will not follow because in the statement it is nowhere mentioned that immigration is not a major problem worldwide so this conclusion will not follow hence the correct answer for this particular question is option number 1 so let us discuss the first question in the first question a statement is given to you let me read that statement iran is understood to have reversed last year's decision to slash the credit period for oil payment from india and issue more generous guideline now two conclusions are given based on the statement you have to check whether this conclusion follows or not so let me read the first one now india will have more time to make the payments for oil imported from iran so in the statement it is clearly mentioned that iran has reversed its last year's decision 
which was to lower the credit period. This means now this period has been increased and thus India has more time to make the payment. So our conclusion first will follow. Let me read the second conclusion. Importing oil from Gulf countries will now be much easier and cheaper for India. Your conclusion second does not follow because nothing about all Gulf countries has been mentioned in the statement. So your correct answer for this particular question is option number A that is conclusion first follows. In the next question a statement is given to you which is followed by two conclusions. So your statement is once a property is listed under OYO it must meet a stringent list of quality and price standards. Accordingly let me read two conclusions for you. Your first conclusion is properties listed under OYO are of good quality. And second one is one property can only be listed once on OYO. So if you focus on your first conclusion, it clearly follows because the list of quality standards of OYO and is stringent and should be met by the property to be listed under OYO. We can say that because it is clearly mentioned in the statement. So our conclusion first will follow. However, conclusion second will not follow because this statement cannot be said with any kind of certainty. Therefore, our correct option for this particular question is option number one that is conclusion first follows. Let me read next question for you. Your statement is, it was one of the last model of scooter that Bajaj produced before they switched to motorbikes. And your conclusion is, Bajaj makes motorbikes and Bajaj keeps switching to different products. Since Bajaj switched to motorbike, it is certain that it makes motorbike. Therefore, your conclusion first will follow. However, we cannot say that Bajaj keeps switching to different product because it is nowhere mentioned in the statement. Therefore, your conclusion second will not follow. Hence, the correct answer for this particular question is option number one. Your conclusion first will follow. Let us solve the next question. In next question, a statement is given to you. Let me read the statement for you. In the case of Punjab National Bank fraud, letters of undertaking were issued by passing the bank's reporting system. The three-tier audit failed to detect the malfeasance. Your conclusions are three-tier audit is a fault proof and second conclusion is a fraud has occurred in Punjab National Bank. So, from conclusion second, we can say that it clearly follows because a fraud is definitely happened in Punjab National Bank. So our conclusion second will clearly follows. And since the three tier audit failed to detect the malfeasance, it cannot be said to be a fault proof. Therefore, your conclusion first will not follow and the correct answer for this particular question is option number two. That is only conclusion second follows. Let us discuss the next question. Your statement is voters in Tirpura once again came out in large number for the assembly election on Sunday with initial estimates putting the turnout at almost 90%. Accordingly, two conclusion is given to you. Your first conclusion is turnout may drop below 90%. As we know that 90% of the people have already voted, this number may only go up but not down. So your conclusion first will not follow according to your statement. Second is your once again is mentioned over here and your conclusion is voters in Tirpura have come out for the elections previously as well. So once again is mentioned over here. So your conclusion number second will clearly follows. Hence the correct answer for this particular question is option number two that is conclusion second follows. Let us now discuss the next question. Your statement is in trying to match the left 
in terms of organizational muscle the bjp banked on rss and larger parivar to provide its heft it needed in the campaign and your conclusions are the left has a good organizational strength and second conclusion is the bjp had its own team within the party to provide weight to the campaign so your conclusion first will clearly follows because it is clearly mentioned that bjp was trying to match the organizational muscle of the left however your conclusion second will not follows as bjp banked on rss and larger parivar to provide its heft it needed in the campaign so your conclusion number first will follow hence the correct answer for this particular question is option number 1 let us solve the next question your statement is the local council polls won resoundingly by sri lanka people's front which has the backing of the former president have brought to fore popular disenchantment with the ruling parties particularly over unemployment and rural distress caused by the drought and accordingly two conclusion is given to you your first conclusion is local council polls were held biannually and your second conclusion is two parties were competing from the area so if you focus on both the conclusion neither of them can be inferred from the statement because there is no where mention about that local council poll were held biannually and only two parties were competing from that area so the correct answer for this particular question is option number 4 that is neither one nor second follows Let us solve the next question. Your statement is there is a talk of a cabinet reshuffle as a means of settling the differences between the two parties but the durability of the alliance remain in doubt. Your conclusions are the two parties want the difference to be settled and your second conclusion are the reason for the difference is the series of misunderstanding so if you focus on the first conclusion it is clearly mentioned that parties are going for cabinet reshuffle which means they want their differences to be settled therefore conclusion first will follows however your conclusion second will not follows at it cannot be inferred from the statement that there is a series of misunderstanding between them so your conclusion second will not follow hence correct answer for this particular question is option number 1 Let us solve your next question. Your statement is according to one Gujarat based study a majority of RSBY insured patients ended up spending about 10% of their annual income during hospitalization because hospitals still charging them unsure as they were when they would be compensated your conclusions are hospitalization for insured patients is not yet beneficial and your second conclusion are the hospitals do not rely much on the government same so if you focus on your conclusion number 1 it clearly follows as insured patients ended up spending 10% of their annual income which clearly means that the hospitalization for insured people is not beneficial hence it clearly follows however if you read your second conclusion that the hospital do not rely much on the government scheme so it cannot be inferred from the statement because this thing is nowhere present in the statement hence conclusion second will not follow the correct answer for this particular question is option number 1 Let us solve the next question. Your statement is scheduled tribe and ruler households typically missed out the benefits of the scheme while richer quintiles of the population benefited. Accordingly, two conclusion is given to you. Your first one is the unaware lot missed out on the various benefits. And second conclusion is one should be aware. 
Your conclusion first clearly follows because it can be clearly inferred from the statement that unaware missed out on various benefits. However, your conclusion second will not follow because it cannot be directly inferred from the statement and there is nowhere mentioned this line in your statement. Hence, conclusion second will not follow and the correct answer for this particular question is option number one. I hope you are now clear with statement and conclusion and thanks for watching iExamB.